often do we see a beauty treatment in a magazine or on social media that sounds a little bit strange and we find ourselves saying, does that really work? Well, that is why our very own Kim Douglas is here because she is sharing some hair treatments that may sound a little weird and wacky, but she swears, and I believe everything Kim says, that these actually work. I'm very excited about this, They Kim. really do, and you're so right, Deb. There are so many great trends that they're showing all over social media and on television, and you know, they just don't call me the beauty guru for nothing. That's right, Kim. Because what I do, Deb, is I put on my hat right now and I go in and I find out and I try all of these different things and then the ones that work, I bring them back to you. You put on your hair net for this one. So Absolutely. They're not my just hair your hat, your hair net. my hat. All right, yeah. well, I'm a little bit confused. We're gonna get started here in a moment, but I would like all of you to see what is in front of me. <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna play into um, wacky hair treatments. I have a robe tie, I have a, a little bowl full of some sort of un unmarked pills and a cup of black coffee. So either I'm about to commit a crime or solve one. I'm not sure what's happening, Kim. Well, I promise you, you are gonna look absolutely <laughs> fabulous. And like you said, most of you probably have these things at home. That's right. right. All right, our first thing is the hottest trend and this is the heatless curls. You know, really, a lot of us have given our hair a rest yeah. when we've been at home all these months, and that's been so great for it, but we wanted to find ways not to have to go back to using hot rollers right. and blow dryers and curling irons, so believe it or not, a bathrobe is what can help. Now, I love myself a good bathrobe. Yes. There I am right now in my bathrobe at home. Jerry's probably got it waiting for me the minute oh, I get out of here. Love I that, take Jerry. I my clothes and I put on my bathrobe, but I discovered that you can actually use the waist tie of your bathrobe to create fabulous curls. Now, here is how simple Whoa. it is. It's all over social media. Let's take a look at a couple of the beauty bloggers like this one right here showing that she's just got the tie over her head, Deb, and then she is twisting her hair around. Now, our very own Orly Shani did, oh my did goodness, the same look at that. thing. Look at her right there, and that is the pink robe tie, and she did the same exact thing. So let me show you how you can do that at home because you I'm look not... like little orphan Annie, but uh, <laughs> there we go. We've got our lovely Michael in. She finds a part, she puts it right in there with a clip, then takes the tie from Ooh, her robe great. and literally just twists the hair around, and you oh. keep picking up another section of hair and wrapping your hair away from the face. Then you want to secure each side with the Princess Leia kind of buns, if you will. I was just going to say that. Secure that. You've got one on one side, one on the other. Leave that in for four to five hours or overnight if you can sleep with it. Michael and this is and this, she didn't use one other thing, just no. the tie. Oh my goodness. And there is <gasps> heatless, easy curls. Isn't that amazing? Wow, that really works. I mean it. I, and I mean, I kind of felt like it was cute even with just the tie in there. Know, it sort it of looked like a was. ribbon or something. Absolutely. Okay, so, there so we've you got go. we got one heatless, down and heatless curls. Now yeah. we have a, a, a bowl full of, um, Pills and coffee. Exactly. So where should we go first, the coffee so or the let's pills? Go, you know what, Deb, let's go to our coffee okay. because I want to share with everybody at home. You got it. I poured you a nice Lovely. hot black cup of coffee and you and I, everybody, I want you to know, you probably have a girlfriend at home. Maybe right now you're just having a cup of coffee and then you want to call your girlfriend. Deb and I, I know we can't get there too close, Cheers. but let's six, go six feet. feet. There we go. And we have our morning coffee <laughs> together. And I want to just share with you, Deb, morning coffee is not just for waking you up anymore. Is it good for your hair it if you drink great it? great for your hair not to drink it even. What you can do is you just rinse your hair with the coffee. And what it does is it increases shine, it helps defrizz, and it stimulates hair growth. I've never heard of Debbie, this. Debbie, a is cup amazing. of black coffee. This that is, is wild. Insane. But it's only good for brunette hair. So here's how you do it. Oh, so there's wow. our lovely Summer. She's got her beautiful brunette locks, but she felt like it just wasn't as shiny. So she got some cold brew coffee. She pours it into a bowl. And then she just takes a little cup. I also take it in the shower when I use it with chamomile tea. And I just pour it over my head with a measuring cup. I want to leave it on there for one to two minutes and then I just let it seep in, saturate the hair, and then I rinse it off as usual. And all of a sudden, your hair is shinier, it, you're gonna help stimulate hair growth, and all you did was a cup of coffee. I mean, I'm gonna say that makes a lot of sense. Doesn't it? That actually makes a lot of sense. The caffeine was stimulating hair yeah. growth, 
And it's almost like a dye because you know a coffee right. can dye dyes, oh. you know, anything. Any, anything. Your shirt, yeah. So for blondes, no. We yeah. should stick with a chamomile. We, yeah, the chamomile or a light colored tea. But um, this really does work oh for my the brunette. Gosh. Isn't that great? That is amazing. So Debbie, do you say I'm two for two? Two for okay. two. Kim, let's I'm go. gonna I'm gonna jump ahead and say you're gonna be three for three. All right, let's You do never it. steer us wrong. Right. Okay, now what are we doing with this uh, little thing of pills? Okay, this is <laughs> actually just plain old aspirin, and this is my third treatment, and this is aspirin aspirin shampoo. And what this is for, ladies and gentlemen, is scalp health is really important. And sometimes we forget that, Deb. You don't think about always, if you don't have dandruff, you're like, oh, scalp, whatever. But when I didn't have hair at all, I really wanted to make sure that the pores in my, my head were really um, clean and being well taken care of. And a lot of you have written to me and said that you suffer with dandruff. You don't have to spend a lot of money on those expensive shampoos because all you need is two aspirins. Now, aspirin has salicylic acid in it, which is the same ingredient that is in all of those dandruff shampoos. And in, in yeah, skin and care. It, right, oh right, right. Oh my gosh, I didn't know that. So you just take your regular shampoo. I have a bottle of shampoo here. I just put out what I would normally use and I crushed up two little aspirins. I mix them together and then what you want to do is just shampoo your hair as normal with the shampoo with the aspirin in it. Let it sit for a little bit longer than you normally would, Deb. One to two minutes, I suggest, before rinsing. And guess what? Bye bye, dandruff. Kim, Debbie. I love this. Deb. You knocked it out of the ballpark. Debbie. Another cup of coffee. Another cup of coffee. And we're ready to go. Take a couple aspirin and call me in the morning. <laughs> or just put it in your hair instead. For more information on all of these amazing hacks, visit hallmarkchannel.com.